Welcome back to the grand adventures of Alongus Dongus. Now sit down and shut up, because we have a lot of work to do. The first thing we need to do is get our clan to tier 1. By doing so, we should be able to build another workshop, or is that clan 2? I, I don't remember, but we do need to build another workshop so we can fund our grand army. And speaking of army, this is not exactly a strong army, so we need to, I don't know, practice by killing looters? and gaining some experience for these these men here to become the finest warriors in the land. So the first thing we're gonna do, yeah, that's right. We're gonna go hunt some looters and get some grand old experience. Oh, isn't this great? We've been traveling around for days and I've yet to see a single looter. But when we weren't looking for them, they were literally everywhere. But there is a tournament over here, so we're gonna go ahead and compete in the tournament. Oh, and look what we're competing for. Oh yeah, that looks amazing. We gotta win this, let's do it. And of course, I'm a horse archer. Ain't that nice? Nice. Nice. Oh, yes. All right, another victory under our belt. A thousand more gold. And yes, some horse armor that I'm going to add right away. Well, you know what I just realized? We need a doctor. We need someone to, you know, check on the men, make sure they don't die from their wounds. It's gonna make our party that much more stronger. So we need to go searching for one. Let's go check the list. All right, well, here's all the wanderers. We need to look for someone who is, it says like healing or yeah, perfect healer right here. Uh, so where are you located? Oh, in Quazara. Okay, let's, uh, let's go see where that's on the map. All right, well, we're going back to Azurai territory to find our epic healer. Oh, wow, they're very they're very far away. Oh, my God. So every couple days, I think I'm going to check and make sure the wanderer hasn't wandered. Also, I need to make sure, like, if I see any looters, I need to kill them. Step bandits, I'll let them go. They're a little too fast for us right now, but everybody else... Oh, perfect. Looters. We gotta go for stuff like this so we can level up our troops. We might even be able to join the... Lo oh, wait, no. The Lord gave up on this. <laughs> He's like, forget it. They're too fast. All right, we're gonna deal with... The oh, this guy looks kind of sad. Oh, you know, like he just... He's just been having a bad day. You know what? Never mind. You can go. Oh, here we go. 15 looters. Come on. My my men are thirsty for violence. Oh, this guy totally looks less sad. He honestly looks a little smug. Uh, and hey, I don't look like a, a Wookiee anymore. You know, I'm kind of sad about that. I kind of missed that from the uh, previous episode. All right. Well, let's jump in and kill these guys. Go ahead and delegate yourself. Take over command! And archers hold up there. And we're gonna kind of ride with the horse archers and inflict some casualties on the disgusting looters. Oh, just like that. Oh, let's not forget I have this knight lance. This is a lance that I uh, I won in a tournament. Literally all my equipment I've won in tournaments, which is awesome. I also have a new desert horse since the last time we did battle. Uh, so uh, we're definitely a bit more upgraded in terms of equipment. Oh, this lance does heavy damage. Let's go ahead and charge the infantry, try to get them some experience. Oh, yes. Hack them up, boys. They ain't gonna be looting no more. See, why can't these men just get an honest pr profession? You know, like being a YouTuber. YouTubers are such good and honest people that never beg for money. And this is exactly why you want to go after looters. We can now upgrade our troops to be finer soldiers. Now, we do need to get more cav. And I'm going to just stick with horse archers right now. But I will eventually get some Kuzite horsemen. You know, like a melee cav. But right now, since we're going with a smaller army, I just want them to be all horse archers and inflict a lot of damage from far away. We need to get more horses for these lads right here, but we'll do that eventually. And when I say we're going to do that eventually, we're going to do that right now. Oh yeah, we've got some nice horses here. I'll go ahead and buy a war step or a step war horse and a couple of these, and that should be good. It's going to cost a thousand, but it's going to be worth it once we upgrade our troops. 
Well, here's our Kuze nomads. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Now they're Kuze tribal warriors. Ah, they live on horseback. Fantastic. Our army is already getting amazingly strong, and soon well, the whole world will know my name. Elongus Dongus. Oh, look at this fat stack of looters. 15? Yeah, you're not going to outrun me. That's another great thing. Yeah, that's the other great thing about having a ton of horse archers. They're so fast, and nobody can outrun you. Oh, my army's starting to look pretty cool, guys. Look at all these horse archers. Looking pretty fresh. Wow, that guy did 40 damage to me. Okay, I might want to chill it here a little bit. <laughs> I'm severely wounded. Yay, victory, yay. Man, the looters are coming out all of a sudden. Look at this. We got a, a 20 stack here now. Of course we're going to go for it. Now, in this battle, I really need to try to get my infantry and archers in position to do some damage. Because uh, they need to level up as well and eventually become horse, ar horse archers like their comrades here. Um, so we'll line up the archers here. Infantry right behind them. All right, go ahead and attack now, horse archers. And infantry charge. And if you die infantry, you die, okay? But you guys need to level up. Well, I think we, uh, I think all of our infantry got wounded there, and three of them unfortunately died. Oh, no. Not good. But, you know, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Oh, and look at all these upgrades. This... Oh, look at this. We got a Kuze Torgood. A Torgood? A Torgood. Oh, oh he, we're putting him on the top. Look at him. He's looking good. Well, the killing of looters has gone uh, very well. So we need to go to the nearest city and actually sell some of these uh, prisoners off and a lot of this equipment because we're carrying way too much. Well, we're at the nearest city. There's a tournament going on, which of course I'm going to compete in, but we are pretty low on health, so I should probably wait here a couple days to heal up. But in the meantime, let's trade. We're gonna make a thousand gold. That's pretty sweet. That's an easy thousand. Also, while we're here, let's go ahead and sell the prisoners. 35 gold, not much, but it adds up. All right, we got our health to 61%. It's time to enter the arena. Nice. Oh, 262 damage. I'll take it. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Elakis. Well, we got the fancy boots, but they're not as good as our current boots, so we're just going to sell them. Now, we're currently passing a bunch of looters that we could go for, but I kind of want to wait until we get our medic, our healer. That way, we lose less troops in combat, and it's just going to save us a lot of time. Oh, and by the way, our workshop is almost making us 200 gold per day, so we're making a plus, like, you know, plus 70 gold or about 100 gold. So that's pretty sweet. Whoa, 33 looters? Okay, hold up, full stop. This is uh, this is an opportunity of a lifetime here. I think we can kill these 33 looters. I don't think it's gonna be too too difficult. Also guys, we've made it to clan tier one after and almost halfway to two. Fighting looters really sky skyrockets you uh, to different, you know, the next tier. And also, we can buy another workshop, which we're going to do right after we get our healer. But for now, let's go for this group of 33 looters and see if we can beat them. And our, oh, our horse archers are doing work. Oh, I get first blood, guys. Come on, get in there, get some kills. Oh, yeah. I absolutely love the terrain of uh, of the east here. Now I know we're in like Azerite territory, but it's just it's really refreshing. I've I've noticed a lot of new maps, and it's really nice to see that. Oh, and we already got them on the run. Now I don't really have a lot of sympathy for looters, so. I'm not going to take any prisoners. We didn't even lose one. He's just wounded. He'll be right back. He'll be right back on the horse. Sweet, juicy updates. 
uh, or, or not updates, upgrades. And look at this guy. Look at this guy. Oh my gosh, he's killing it. His drip is un unstoppable. Well, that was really satisfying, but you know, no more looters. We've got to focus on keeping our troops healthy and happy, and to do that, we need to get our healer, which should be here in this town. And sure enough, she's here. She didn't wander off anywhere, which is really good, because sometimes they can wander, and they're kind of annoying, and whatever. We'll just talk to her. Well, she's not from the step people, but a healer is a healer. She costs 500 gold. We've got plenty. Here you go. Well, she's now in our party, and I kind of want her to be a fighter. If we look at her stats, she's not very... Well, she's pretty good with the one-handed. Her scouting's not too bad either, but of course her medicine is what's most important. I, I think what I'm going to do is just for now keep her away from the fight and just keep her in the back of the battlefield. I do eventually want to give her a horse and maybe a bow and arrow, and she can kind of ride with the horse archers, but it's really important that she does not die or get wounded because that obviously then she can't do her job oh and of course do not forget to do this make sure you actually put the surgeon as your surgeon and i'll put myself as quartermaster do not forget to do this okay this is a common mistake with most people so now that we have our healer in the army and the army is getting extremely powerful it is now time for us to head back home and build our second workshop we're gonna head to the most northern city in our in our uh our our land the kuzate land and we're gonna go to balta balta Kond. and there we will build a wool weavery and that should help us make some good money, but we do have quite the journey ahead of us. Home sweet home. You love to see it. Now, we do have a lot of stuff to do um, before we can buy this workshop, and that is we need to trade. We've got a lot of equipment here. Let's not, you know, trade any of the food. That looks good. So trade, 500 gold. Not bad, but it adds up. We also have some prisoners. And I'm going to go ahead and see what they have for weapons here. Because it's about time that I get myself a bow. A bow and a lance. I think that's like one of the best combos. And unfortunately, are you serious? Oh, wait. No, it's a, it's in a different category. Okay. Now, unfortunately, my bow skill is not quite ready for some of these cooler looking bows. So we're just going to have to stick with the step bow. Um, and that should help us get, you know out of uh, situations where we get stuck in battle. Thank you, Step Bow. Now we can get some pretty gnarly arrows right now, but uh, I just don't wanna spend $5,000 on these arrows. I'm just gonna get, I don't know. And yeah, let's just get this barbed arrow for now. We just need one of them. There we go. So now we got our bow and arrow. We still need like body armor, which I guess we could win in the tournaments, but I'm not gonna spend any more money because I need to buy my next workshop. Hey, Frank, you got guard duty today? Yeah, you're doing good, buddy. All right, so as we enter into the town, guys, I just wanted to address some comments here from the last video. A couple of you guys were giving me some great advice. Now, some... Oh, I didn't mean to leave. I don't know why I hit that. Let's, let's try this again. Here we are again. So as I was saying, you guys were giving me great advice about trading and that I could trade a lot more than just horses. Well, the reason I'm trading horses is because I like to roleplay a little bit, and that's what a Longest Dongus really knows, is horses. I mean, he's a Kuzate. He rides on horses. He knows what's going on. What is happening here? How's this for a coin Children, purse? look away. Look away. Put your hand down, lady. Right in the public? Have, uh, have us Kuzates have dropped so low? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Stop it. Stop. Stop. What are you doing? Stop. Leave her alone, bro. Dude, what are you doing? What? Are you okay, ma'am? Oh, I see. That was his spot. That was his spot. And now she's walking off all angry. You gotta love the Kuzate people. You really do. So as we head down over to this side of the city, we've got a couple weaveries we can go to. I think one is like a fancy weavery and the other is like wool. We want to find the wool one. And we got to make sure like, I don't want two wool weaveries in here. So I want to make sure I buy the one that's already wool. What is up with the Kuze people? I, I seriously think we have a drug problem here in, in, our, in our lands. 
I mean, what are you doing? I, I really, guys, we need to lay off the fermented horse milk. We really do. Okay, perfect. I think this is the wool weavery because it's not a velvet weavery. So, yeah, we'll do that. Sheep, yes, perfect. Yes, yes, yeah. Sweet. Now we've got our second business. Let's go ahead and upgrade our character. And the next thing we need to save our money for is a caravan. Now we can improve our riding skill. I'm gonna go with the well strapped uh, because this increases your mount's hit points. I think that's a little bit better than the uh, veterinarian or veterinary uh, because uh, horses, uh, there's a low chance of it going, be dying or becoming lame. And mounted troops in your command have 10% 10 10 more hit points. So that just makes my army stronger, which is really important. We're also going to go with Day Traveler here. Our scouting is in increased, which is great. It's I think it's day longer in Calradia, so let's go with Day Traveler. Also, our pole arm increased as well because we've been using it uh, pretty nicely. And, you know, I'm honestly going to go with Keep at Bay. Bray sounds pretty nice. It, it can, like, dismount an enemy. But I really like this passive ability. Increase militia recruitment and govern settlements by point. Five. I don't know that sounds pretty nice to me and it's gonna help us out once we get our cities going and we've got one little point here I'm gonna put that into my I guess into my leadership You know what? No, let's put it into charm charm is gonna be really important later on Well now that we have our doctor we have our uh, Second workshop. Let's go ahead and recruit some more soldiers. I'm just gonna recruit mounted soldiers I'm not even gonna deal with the kuzate nomads Ah, here we go. Here's some epic Kuzite, Kuzite lords. Let's go speak to them. Oh, dang it. Oh, please don't go inside. Wait. Don't go inside. Okay. Good, good, good. Come here. Yes, I have a question for you. Look at it. Look at this epic guard here. <laughs> I am Elongus, and who are you? Uh, uh, there's something I'd like to discuss. I want to enter the service of Kong Mongchu Chug. Uh, my sword is yours for the right sum. Yes. Our kingdom is not at war, Elongus. We have no use for your... Oh, dang it. For now, let's just continue to hunt down looters and get some experience for our clan. Try to get our clan level higher. I think we have to get to clan level 3 to become a vassal. Alright, good victory. Yay! Well, with another victory under our belt, we level we leveled up, excuse me, we leveled up and we can go ahead and add another point to leadership. And looking at our clan tier, again, I think we have to get to clan tier 3 to come to become a vassal. So, we've got a little ways to go. For now, we need to just focus on hunting down looters and really any other kind of like bandit type unit or or force and just continue to build our reputation. Also, competing in tournaments is not a bad idea. Ah, here we go. We've got another tournament here. So we'll go ahead and trade, no, not trade. We'll go to the tavern and sell our prisoners, and then we'll go compete in the tournament. Nice. Sweet, easy thousand. Uh, we got a new sword, which I don't really use a sword, so I'll give that to my companion. Well, another thing that we should honestly look for are hideouts. Clearing out hideouts will make the villages around us like us more, so when we recruit troops, the troops will be a higher level. Also, there's a ton of loot in here, and I'm sure our clan will gain a lot of reputation. So in this go-around, I'm gonna bring my weaker troops to clear out the hideout, because one, if they die, it's not that big of a deal, and two, they'll gain some experience and hopefully slingshot them to a higher tier. Also guys, another cool tip that some people forget to do, make sure you put your troops on fire at will. Uh, because I guess since it's a night attack, they won't do it. And I'm just gonna tell them to follow me, and we're just gonna shoot the hell out of these guys. <laughs> wow. I just took 78 damage. That sucks. Son of a bitch! Okay, so, <laughs> not a great start. I completely forgot that um, I kind of need a sword in this engagement because I'm not on horseback. So, 
I gave the, my prize sword to my companion. I can easily take it back, but I sold her sword. Uh, I need to go back and uh, get a sword <laughs> for her. Uh, that way I have a uh, hideout clearing out sword just in case I need it. Uh, because that's going to severely help me. Or severely help me, I guess. Yeah, I'll just buy a simple bastard sword for uh, my companion. I'll give her that and then I'll take... I'll, I'll lock this and use it whenever I go into a hideout. Oh, by the way, guys, we are making plus 240 gold per day. That's really good. Now, it could be better. And look at that. We're making 348 total from the workshops. I think it's going to continue to get a little bit better because our newest workshop is still gaining more money. It just This is a great snowball opportunity here, and it's only going to get better. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? This time I've got my sword and shield in hand. I'm gonna use kind of myself as a bit of a arrow uh, absorber with my shield and hope that uh, my soldiers behind me can get the job done. So far, so good. We just gotta keep pushing. We almost cleared them all out. Now it's time to enter the caves. So far we've lost one guy, but he's not dead, only wounded. These caves are actually pretty cool. I usually never play as a Kuzate, so this is all new to me. Like usually I'm, I'm running into like uh, the uh, Nordic caves and stuff and their hideouts. Oh, get wrecked. Really, bro? So I almost always challenge these guys to a duel. And the reason is because I want to protect my men. So I will fight this man in a duel. I cannot let him hit me once. Because this thing will utterly destroy me. Woo! And look at this. We get all the loot. We gain 2.2 morale. And we gain 3.3 renown. Also, we got some pretty cool uh, prisoners here. I don't think these guys will join us anytime soon, but I will be willing to take this guy once he's ready to join us. Also, there's a lot of prisoners. Oh, and this is really good because I was, I'm desperate for some body armor, and that's probably one of the reasons why I'm taking so much damage. And now I'm looking like a Kuzade. Now I'm looking pretty cool. Also, over time, we need to make our healer look a bit more like a Kuzade. I mean, she's rolling with a Kuzade now. So we should probably go to our inventory and give her any new equipment that... Oh, now she's looking cute. She's got a little Kuzade hat on. Also, our old armor is better than our current armor. And also, it shows a bit more skin. So, oh, that's nice. Well, there we go. So, she's looking more and more like a Kuzade every day. Here we go. Here's another tournament. Let's go ahead and compete. So easy. One more and we, yes. We're starting to make less than a thousand gold. That's because we're becoming kind of renowned, kind of known around the world. So us betting on ourselves doesn't really mean that much anymore because we're kind of predicted to, you know, to win. Well, our body armor is better in certain aspects. It's better with total like body armor. It's worth a lot more. And I definitely think I'm going to trade it out. And, oh, that looks pretty fresh. And I'm gonna go ahead and give her the new armor. That way she's not so showing so much skin. I mean, this is, you know, come on. I mean, come on, this, we don't wanna see that. Oh, and while we're here, let's not forget about trading our prisoners. Um, I wanna, yeah, I wanna choose specific prisoners. I'm basically gonna sell you and you because I'm gonna keep these guys because I think eventually they will you know, see the light and join us and join my army. And sure enough, we have found more looters to slaughter. Oh, here's a juicy target. So when the looters are like less than 10, I'm just not even gonna show you the battle because it's not even worth showing. It's so great to just win a battle by clicking two buttons, four, F6, four, F6. That's all you got to do as the Kuzates. It's so nice. Oh, 
Another happy victory. Oh, and look at this. I think in our epic style of just, you know, putting up some cool fights and seeing how great we are, some of the prisoners want to join us, which I will gladly accept in our ranks. We got a lot of prisoners, so we need to go ahead and ransom, ransom some of them. We actually have a lot. We have 17. Oh, my God. Oh, and it looks like we found another hideout. Let's go ahead and go for the hideout. Oh, also, guys, we leveled up our bow, which is awesome. So we got two different options here. We have bow control and dead aim. I'm going to go with bow control. This decreases the bow accuracy loss due to movement by 30%. That's really important, especially on horseback. Also, bow equipped troops in your formation gain 5% damage with bows. I mean, that's just a deadly combo. Now it's time to attack this hideout. <laughs> I can spit on them. I won. Ooh, we gained 5.8 renown. That's huge. Also, we got some cool equipment. Here's a cracked heavy re recurve bow. This is actually way better than my current bow, so I'm going to go ahead and swap that out. Also, guys, we leveled up with uh, athletics, so that's that's nice. Well, sure enough, we found another tournament. Uh, once again, we're going to compete Yay, we won a horse. Well, this horse is really good, but we're not skilled enough to ride it. And it's not a horse that I really care enough to just hold on to until we are good enough. So I'm just going to sell it. You know, while we wait for the Kuzates to finally go to war with someone, I mean, this is so like un of them, but I thought it would be a good idea to start uh, prepping our first car caravan. We can't get one just yet, but if we go to our wanderers and just go ahead and get like a spice vendor um, and just get her in the ranks and get her ready so when we do get our caravan going she's gonna make us a lot of money man this is crazy we're making 300 about 300 gold per day we're almost at 15k which is the amount we're gonna need for a uh, caravan uh, but I don't think I think we have to get our clan tier to level two first all right hello I'm in I'm a longest dongus and I would like, yes, perfect. Now, the nice thing about the caravan uh, companions, uh, getting them early before we can actually get caravans, is that we can kind of prep them so they're well equipped and ready for whatever the world sends at them. So we'll make sure they have, uh, you know, armor and uh, good weapons. Well, guys, the more I think about it, this is just kind of repetitive. And I don't want to bore you guys with doing the same thing over and over. So what I'm going to do is just compete in tournaments, hunt down looters until we get to clan level two. I'm just going to keep doing that until we level up and then become a vassal. So to avoid the repetitiveness, I'm just going to do an 80s montage.
Okay guys, the time has finally arrived. The time has finally arrived. The Kuzates are at war and I just asked to be their mercenary. I am going to, ex going to accept that. Um, so it's official. We are we are officially a, uh, a warrior of the Kuzates, I suppose, or mercenary of them. And uh, we're at war with the Sturgeons, so uh, what we have to do now, because it, let me just show you everything that we've done during that montage. Our money's almost at 30k. Uh, we competed in a lot of tournaments. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we made a lot of money. Um, we got some equipment for uh, her, like shoulder pads and new sword and everything. So, yeah, uh, and we leveled up quite a bit. So, we even have a point to spend, which I'll put in my bow. Uh, but yeah, we've got a lot going on here. Our riding has greatly increased. We've got nimble speed, well-strapped, uh, nomadic traditions. So charm is up. We got self-promoter. So a couple different upgrades that we got to improve our character. So that's all well and dandy. Uh, so now what we're going to do, if we look at our clan, we are so close to level 2. And I don't want to end the episode until we are level 2. And the way we're going to do that is first just recruit as many horse archers as possible. So let's recruit... Or actually, I'll just recruit anything at this point. Just have anything in the army. And then what we're going to do is hunt down enemy lords. And we are going to get so much renown from doing that and that should skyrocket us it might even skyrocket us to tier three quickly if we're smart about it we can capture a lot of enemy lords oh by the way guys we're making a ton of money now that we're making oh we make a hundred per day oh okay i thought it was a hundred per party we destroy a hundred per day plus our workshop income is at 460 so we are making some great great money here we, we just maxed out our army so let's go search for some sturgeon lords all right here we go we've got a mercenary group they're fighting for the sturgeons it's only 11 soldiers so i don't know how how look at these guys they think they're cool or something oh yeah look at my army just absolutely gonna be flossing on these hoes now they are a bunch of archers so i'm just gonna use my lance here and make this a little bit faster oh my gosh Oh, easy peasy. Oh, we just missed him. Get him, boys. Great battle. Unfortunately, we did lose one Nomad, but that's okay. We got 1.1 Renown. Really not that much. So now what we're going to do, guys, um, we're going to go ahead and let him go free. What this is going to do is increase our charm. Our charm, when we increase it... It's, we're going to be like unstoppable. It, it, we're going to get every lord to join us because everyone's going to love us. It's, it's going to be awesome. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, we have a force of 62 up here. I'm going to try to pursue. Oh, let's just, okay, let's just join in. Okay, perfect. Let's just go in. I'm just going to send in the troops. This should be an ass whooping, though we are losing men, which is unfortunate. We only lost one and we gained one one renown i'm gonna head back home and recruit some forces uh, to get my my army back to full strength since we got some equipment from that recent battle let's go see if we can improve our companions inventory and like or like armor and see if we can get her something better than what she currently has which it looks like we can here's a hat it gives you eight protection You're looking like a sturgeon but that's okay let's give you a shield uh we got a bow here we can give her do we have any arrows? No arrows, huh? Well, let's go buy her some arrows and a horse and everything so she can be a, a horse archer and stick with the horse archers because she's probably going to be safer 
with the horse archers. So let's go to our nearest town. All right, we got her some arrows. Uh, next, we need to get her a horse. Uh, I'll get the best horse she can ride. And she doesn't have any horse armor or anything like that. Let's just get her a cheap saddle. Now she's going to be considered a horse archer, which is going to, again, be safer for her because that's the strongest force in my army. Oh, here we go. Hold on, hold on. We got some uh, mercenaries here. Uh, I don't know how much renown this is going to get us because they only have 17. But again, uh, even if this doesn't get us a lot of renown, it's going to uh, get us to improve our charm and also get some experience for our troops. All right, here we go. Big battle time. Not like super big, but it's something. And I'm gonna couch this guy into oblivion. Oh, dang it. So the last enemy is this horse rider way out in the water. What are you doing? All right, I just want one couch kill. Come on, give me one couch kill. Dang it. Well, nice victory. Nobody was even wounded, and we gained 2.4 renown, which is actually, actually not that bad. And of course, we're gonna let him go, and our charm is now at 53. We also leveled up there. Our charm is now higher, so we can we can pick a different uh, to, different option here. Let's see what help what would help us the most. I think I'm gonna go with Warlord. This is gonna give us more influence uh, gained after every battle. Also, every time you defeat an enemy lord, uh, lord's party, you gain plus one relationship with a random lord of your faction. That seems really good. So, yeah, let's get that. Well, that's not good. The Southern Empire has declared war in the Kuzates. We are now fighting a two-front war. Now, I don't necessarily care, because remember, my goal here is to become king of the Kuzates. So, I don't necessarily care if we start uh, losing. You know, like, if we start losing territory. What I more care about is just building up my charm and in, in building up my clan tier. So, I've migrated to enemy territory. Because what I'm going to do right now is look. I don't know if we're going to take on him. He looks a little too beefy. But I'm gonna look for a different enemy lord, maybe one that's a little weaker. I don't know, I feel like, oh, we got peace. Okay, so Cusates and Sturgeons have made peace. That's good, because what I can do now is focus, well, I mean, whatever. It's good for our faction, but I need to focus on finding, okay, you know what? I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try it, let's try it. Here we go. This is gonna be tough, but if we win this, we're gonna gain a lot of renown. Okay guys, so I might approach this battle a little bit differently. So I'm gonna split my horse archers into two groups. That way they're less of a big clunky group. I don't know, I don't know if this is gonna work. I don't know if this is a better idea or if there's other good ideas, I don't know. Um, let's also add you there in one group and make this a horse archer group. And we're gonna put you at half strength. So, let's see, 20 and 19. Let's add the spice vendor, you there. Okay, so four and five is our horse archers. So, let's go ahead and ready up. Um, we need to set up quickly here. So, let's have one group. Put one group of horse archers. A little bit longer of a line right there. You guys. Or maybe more like this. Like that, okay? Infantry there. Um, oh, let me get these horse archers out of the way because they're going to distract my guys. Oh, of course you block. Of course. Oh, but they're running straight for my horse archers. Yeah, get wrecked. Get wrecked, nerd. Nice, there's one. Come on, kill his ass, kill his ass. Look at how many arrows you're taking. Give me a break. Just give me one break. All right, hold this hill. Yes, fire, fire. Like mad lads, fire! Now this is uh, this is kind of rude what I'm about to do, but infantry, slow them down. You gotta slow down their approach. Come on, we need more kills than this. We need more kills. Infantry, infantry charge! God bless you. God bless you, infantry. Ow. Oh. 
All right, horse archers. Horse archer! Horse mountain sergeant! Horse take over command! Take over command. All right, we got two groups of horse archers moving out. I'm going to start focusing down their cav. Get out of here. Yes. I'm going to try to weaken these archers a bit. How is this strat doing? I don't know. It looks like a mess right now. Yeah, sit down. All right, it's not looking bad. It's not looking bad. But the biggest issue are the archers in their... In the cab, I suppose. Get the crossbow out of the game. I hate you, archers. I hate you. And unfortunately, they are catching up again in kills. I am fighting like a madman. I can promise you that. This is a very difficult battle. Kill these, kill these archers. Nice, nice, nice. Get these, get these crossbows out of here. Oh, dude, we're actually. I like. Okay, yeah. You definitely got your... You got to get the horse archers into multiple groups. You got to. Oh, I got their leader. I got their leader. Uh, my archers, get up here and try to fight their archers. Yes, dude. Oh, my gosh. We're doing it. We're pulling it off. If this doesn't get us to tier two, I don't know what will. Look at They don't know who to go for. It's, I might split up my horse archers into four groups. I mean, once I get a little bit more. Yes. Oh my gosh, we're winning. Okay, I, I mean, I knew we were gonna win. This is easy. <laughs> Anything but easy. Guys, please get out of the way. Look at them just charging in like mad lads. What a battle. I don't think I'm gonna edit this one down much. Yes! Victory! Do they have anything else? Oh my gosh, we did it! With half our army still alive. We lost 10 men. Most of them, I think, were weak archers. 16 wounded. Dude! Yes! Come on. How much renown are we gonna get for- Oh wait, I didn't even see. Yep, that's right. My charm is at 60. And look at the prisoners! Oh my gosh! Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> Look how much renown we got. That, that shot us up from not only one to two, but almost halfway to three. Guys, that battle was huge. That was huge. So now, um, I think we can get a caravan. So maybe we could have gotten a caravan earlier, but uh, we need to get the heck out of here and go back to more safer territory. Okay, we're back to some friendly territory. Let's go ahead and sell our prisoners. 2,000. And let's go see if we can go ahead and make our first caravan. Yes. And the spice vendor. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Cool. So we have our first caravan. So uh, what I'm going to do now, guys, is we've got our caravan. We could probably build another business. But unfortunately, guys, we're way out of time. So I'm going to end the episode here. This was a great start. We are uh, making some great progress. And uh, we can actually ask the leader now, I think, pretty soon, right, to be a vassal. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you guys for joining me on this epic adventure of a longest dongus. And things are going to get very spicy in the next episode.